Useless machines. They've been around for a really long time in the redstone community, and it basically all started with Seth Bling's video on bite-sized Minecraft, where it was like an animated Minecraft video, and one of the clips had like a machine that broke a lever with a piston once you flicked it, and then a lot of people have made their own versions of that useless machine, and this is my hipster version that I showed off um, a bit earlier in my channel, so this one is completely flush with the floor, so it's completely hipster and seamless and fancy, and I did do a tutorial on how to build that, and you can check it out if I remember to put it in the description. But today, I'm going to be looking at five useless machines, and none of them, well, <laughs> some of them, well, like two of them, are actually lever-breaking based, and there is a compacted version of this design that I'll show you how to build. So let's go look at the other useless machines with a fancy transition. So these are the useless machines that we are gonna be looking at. We got a redstone block and lamps, which looks a little bit suspicious. We got some pistons, and we have two little piston contraptions here, and one of them is really bulky. Now obviously, we're not gonna build that one because that thing is huge and I don't even remember how to build it. I just built it once and then forgot. But we will be learning how to build this one, this one, and this one. Now, obviously, you see four, and I said five, and there is a secret fifth one, and that's going to be at the end of the video, because that's going to force you to go to the end of the video and give me watch time. Heh <laughs> heh heh, I'm so smart. And there's also a few other things that I want to announce at the end of the video, so let's just look at this, because I'm talking too much. First one, we got a redstone block. This is a normal redstone block. It powers things beside it. Let's see, how else can I prove it? Uh, can we put torches on redstone blocks, actually? Oh, there we go. I totally didn't just give off the secret, but doesn't matter. This is an unoff redstone block. So we have a lever on a redstone block, and we can turn the lamps on below it. Now, it doesn't only work with levers. We can also do buttons. So if we put a button here, the lamps will turn off and then turn off. It also works with pressure plates. So if we put a pressure plate on the top. We can step on it and then get off it. Now, I'm not sure if it works with torches. I haven't really tried that yet, so... Well, guess what? It works with torches, so... We place the torch, it turns on. We break the torch, it turns off. Now, obviously, if you didn't know already, this does use a bud. I'm not gonna tell you what bud, though, until we start building this. So, let's go look at the next one and just replace the lever over here. So, the next one is probably one of my favorites. and Well, it's my second favorite. Uh, my favorite is that big cube which I'll show off later but basically what it does if we just put a block here and we push this wooden button the block is gone it is no longer over here and it doesn't just work with iron blocks you can do whatever block you want except for immovable blocks so if we just take some glass over here it works with transparent blocks so there we go the glass is gone and it even works with TNT now the TNT does explode, but it doesn't actually explode in the build, because it actually falls through a hole. There is a hole in the build that the TNT falls through, so if we just put another piece of TNT, there we go, there's the TNT, and it's just gonna fall down there and not do anything, no harm. It works with half blocks, so like slabs and stairs, so let's put a slab over here, and now there is no more slab, and there's the second TNT, so there we go. It also works with lamps. So if we put a lamp over here, the lamp is gone, but it doesn't work with pistons or, like, immovable objects, because pistons kind of mess with the redstone under there. So yeah, that's our block disappearer machine thing. Okay, next thing, we have another useless lever. Well, it's the, well, there wasn't a useless lever yet, but this is a useless lever. It is a compacted version of that one down there. And it works the same way, you flick the lever, the floor retracts, and then it breaks the lever, like that. And this one is smaller by one layer, so the first one was three blocks tall, and this one is two. So this is layout size, so it is the smallest it can be, and it does use a slightly different layout. The other one used um, pistons on both sides, so there's one there and one there, and the piston was on one side. But this one uses one piston on the side and one piston on the back, so it kind of made the layout easier to make. So yeah, that is our useless lever thing. And our last one, which is probably my favorite one, and that one was my second favorite. It is, um, actually I'm not going to explain it, I'm just going to let you watch it. We place our lever here, 
and obviously it's gonna break, but why is it so big? Well, if we flick it, it's gone. There we go. You didn't even get to blink. It's just so fast that there's just no more lever. You just see the flick state, and then it's gone. So obviously this is a zero tick um, useless lever. If we just break these blocks, we can see more of what the pistons are doing. I don't know. Maybe I'll add a slow-mo shot. So let's do a slow-mo shot over here. I don't know if that's a good thing. I'll see once I edit the video. But yeah, these are the useless machines you are going to see. And like I said, the fifth one's going to be at the end of the video because I'm cruel and I want watch time. <laughs> so now, uh, let's learn how to build these wonderful useless machines. So the things you need to build this on-off redstone block are in my HUD bar. So you can just pause the video and see what you need. And you want to start with a setup like this. So a lever on top of redstone block and it half surrounded with lamps and that's so we can do the first thing which is placing a torch under these lamps like that that should turn these lamps on and not the corner ones and now we're gonna go down here and put two pieces of redstone like that we're gonna put a sticky piston with two blocks in front of it and a detector rail in front of that sticky piston that's gonna redirect this redstone and now we're gonna put a lever under here and that's gonna power this redstone like that so now in front of this block, we're going to put a repeater on one tick, a block in front of that repeater with two torches going to the sides, and this torch is going to power this block. So get your floor blocks right now, and you're going to put your full floor blocks over here, so that's what's going to power these corner pistons. And now we're going to go put two blocks in front of this torch, and we're going to wrap it around till here, put a block here, actually break this block, put a block like that I put a dot of redstone here and a repeater going over here so there we go our torch is in a budded state right now if we flick this lever it should work so let's see if I break it so if you want it to be like by default off you have to kind of like one ticket like that so now when you actually have the lever on the lamps turn on and when you actually have the lever off the lamps turn off so now we have to do the rest of the lamps so we're gonna put these back here and yeah that did butt it so again if you want to do it just quickly pulse it like that so now we're gonna do these three lamps over here so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put a sticky piston going let's see where does it go I think it goes here <laughs> yeah it does okay sticky piston over here with a with an observer facing downwards and you're going to put an observer facing upwards and it's gonna go into your floor block over here. So if we flick this lever, we just have one lamp in this corner to go. And to power that lever, we're gonna use this torch. So we're gonna put two pieces of, well, two blocks with two pieces of redstone on them and a block going into this um, corner lamp. So again, it did bud, so you wanna one ticket again. Actually, I think it budded and it didn't do it right. So break the redstone place it back and now when you put the lever on and butt it there we go that yeah, it should work so this is your on off redstone block thing it's kind of complicated with the torch bud you have to unpower and repower it so yeah so this is basically it i'm pretty sure if you put redstone anywhere there we go if you put redstone coming off this um redstone block it does actually bud the torch so yep this is your on off redstone block so now we're going to be going and building the little block disappearer thingy over there so these are the things you need for the block disappearing machine now obviously this one is a little bit more complicated because we have a lot of pistons doing stuff so these are barrier blocks so this is going to be your ground level over here so let me just build a little iron ring so it's a little bit easier to tell where the ground is so this is your ground over here and you're gonna put pistons going like this so then when you push this button and all extend and cover the block in the middle and you're gonna have like a pist all, all these are normal pistons facing downwards and they all have redstone going like this I'm just using barrier blocks so they're not so in the way as solid blocks but you can use whatever block you hear um, here any solid block at least and this is the block that's gonna be in the middle so you're gonna be putting your block like 
here, and then the pistons are going to cover it. And this block has to be solid, this one in the middle, but these ones around it can be glass. So that's the blocks you need, so I'm just going to take these blocks away so then we can see the redstone a little bit better. And then under one of these normal pistons, you need a, another sticky piston with a redstone block facing down, and that's how we're going to power this thing like instantly. And then uh, the layout gets a little bit complicated. So one of them has to have a sticky piston facing downwards with a redstone block. And then on the opposite side of that, we're going to have a piston, then block, then the sticky piston. Rem um, remember, these pistons are the ones on the ground level. So this piston has a sticky piston facing the middle. And then to the left and right, we have two normal pistons facing the middle. The left piston to the redstone block has a sticky piston facing out outwards, um, upwards. And the in behind it, it has a normal piston facing towards the right side. So you kind of have to like pause the video a few times to make sure you get the layout right. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually cover the floor so we kind of have like a reference of where the floor is so just cover up the floor like that and you're going to put an observer facing downwards over here next to this piston and a piece of redstone so that's the block right there so now it like instantly retracts and then the pistons can do their stuff and now to the left of this redstone block you're gonna put a repeater on one tick with a redstone with redstone dust in front of it and then to the right of it you're gonna put a repeater I'm pretty sure it's a repeater yes it's a repeater on two ticks like that and you're gonna put an observer going into this piston over here so basically what's gonna what it's gonna do it's going to push the button this is gonna retract this piston will extend its sticky piston and this block will get pushed over here and that's why we need this to be a solid block because this observer powers this piston through this block. So let's just see that happen. So uh, let's see what. Oh, right. We have to actually put an observer in front of this redstone. So now it should actually work. So if we just push the button again, that is the first moves that your pistons are going to do. And it does it pretty quickly. So. This thing has to be fast though, so that is the first set of moves. So now we're going to do a little bit more stuff in the back. So let me just take another quick peek at this because I'm not too good at remembering my own redstone contraptions to be honest. So from this one tick line, I'm gonna put an observer facing downwards like that. We're gonna put two observers facing towards the back and we're gonna have a dropper facing upwards. Let's do it upwards with a piece of redstone on top. So doesn't look so ugly and we're gonna put a piece of redstone going into this piston and then we're going to have an observer going into this piston while it's going under it and we're gonna have a repeater going here on three ticks and we're going to have a hopper under this piston like that let's see and now we're going to have an observer going back into this piston over here and that is the first observer line so that's going to be powering that's kind of like powering this storage here which kind of pushes the block out to the side through this hole and the TNT actually like falls through this hole over here so you can make a hole in the ground so now we have to make the second observer line which kind of snakes its way into like over here so let me just look over here so we're gonna put two observers coming from this piston with the hopper under it we're gonna put an observer facing downwards and an observer facing under this piston we are going to put a lamp under this piston that's right okay we're gonna put a lamp under this piston and another observer going into this middle piston this middle piston does quite a lot of stuff so now after that we're going to come from this observer with the redstone and we're going to come out to the side so towards the one tick side and then we're going to go over here to the back and put a block in front like this so let's see let's compare the two and that should hopefully be everything done now let's see if this works so let's just put a block here we push the button 
So, there we go. It does it quite fast. It's kind of cool, actually, so. So, actually, I don't, we didn't even get block, so. Let's put something like sign wool again so we can see it moving. There we go. Attracted. And actually, when this pops up, it does the extra moves, which pushes it into, like, the storage. And if we just take some TNT, and we put it here. Put it down over here. Now, obviously, the TN the block that the TNT is on um, will get powered later. So then, when you put, like, another block, like cyan or something, and you push it, it gets powered, and it falls through that hole down there. So it doesn't actually harm the machine if you put it in the sky. So this is your block disappearer done. Now we can cover up all the stuff and make our floor again. So now we're going to do the next thing, which is the compacted useless lever. And that should hopefully be a lot easier to memorize. So yeah, let's do that thing now. So this is the useless lever, so you need three blocks like this. The middle one is going to be where your lever is on, so that's why it's quartz and not iron, just to make it look a little bit different. And under the two side blocks, you need two sticky pistons like this. You need something that looks like a double piston extender on the back, and then another sticky piston coming from the side. So the first thing, and also, <laughs> these are the materials you need. There's like, like, it's very minimalistic. There's only four things, which is kind of surprising, so... We put our hopper like this and an observer facing downwards like that. We put our another observer facing the back with a block in front of it and two hoppers coming from this block and going into these upwards pistons like this. And that just basically activates those pistons just like that. Next thing you want to do is put an observer like this and then going into this sticky piston over here. And now the next thing you want to do after that, well, I say next thing a lot, you're going to put observer with a lamp in front of it. We're going to put two observers facing upwards and two going into these pistons. And next thing, I'm making sure I'm going to do this right. So let's see, we're going to put an observer facing downwards from this one closest to the pistons. We're going to put one going here and then wrapping all the way back to this piston and that should be everything done so this is the useless machine it is really easy and yeah you just heard a little but whatever doesn't matter this is the useless machine and that's the last tutorial of the useless machines but i'm gonna explain how this zero tick one works and the fifth surprise one so Make sure you stay so we can talk about this one. So here's a disclaimer. I am really bad with zero tick redstone. I really have no idea how it works. So my explanation is probably going to suck. And to those who actually know how to do zero tick stuff, it's probably going to sound like I have no idea what I'm doing. And I, I really don't know what I'm doing at all. So this is the zero tick version. And you know what? Let's just look at it working again because it's cool. So, wow, look how fast it is. So before I explain how the wiring works, we have to explain, well, we have to understand how the pistons have to move in that very short amount of time. So basically we have our input over here, which is a piston, well, a sticky piston with a block in front of it and a redstone torch. And that just deactivates the first line and then the rest happens. So basically we flick this lever and these two pistons, they retract like that, and this is on by default, so this retracts like this. This piston extends. Now, if this piston weren't here, it would get butted and it would power, and that wouldn't work. But because we have our extended piston here, it is immovable, so it can't do that thing. So, this piston extends, this does its thing, this retracts, and this also retracts, so it, like, resets the whole system. This retracts back here. This piston retracts the piston backwards, and then the floor gets spit out like this. Come on, come on. There we go. So that's basically how the pistons have to move. So now let's go back to our little zero tick thing, and we do have obsidian here because there's a lot of tight movements, and without it, it would break. So uh, we put the lever here. This piston extends with the block. This line deactivates first. And over here, we have our first zero tick generator. So that will activate this line over here. And that will instantly retract these two pistons. Well, I'm not. I think it's 0 0.15 seconds. So I think it's 1.5. In 1.5 ticks, these two pis sticky pistons will retract. 
And in this older version, I had a slightly different input device, so this piston had to extend and this one had to extend, so that was a lot more delay for the entire system to start up. So this one is a slightly faster input. So after these two pistons have retracted their blocks into the ground, so we're just going to like follow it over here. So these two have retracted into the ground and this is supposed to stay extended. We have our line coming from this zero tick generator. This piston will instantly retract. This piston will extend its redstone block, deactivating this redstone line, which goes into this piston, and that will retract this. Now, this thing can't extend the same time it retracted, so it has to wait for this to go, this to go, this to extend and break the lever, this to retract again, and then extend. So there's a lot of things for it to wait for this thing to extend again. So what we did to like kind of make it slower while extending is we have like this little piston cutoff system. So when this extends, it will retract and then this will cut the pulse off. It'll still be turned off, but it'll have the block in front of it. And then when the lever is broken, this will retract and then it will go through this observer and pulse through this piston and then retract the block again, letting the signal go through. So it'll take a lot longer for it to retract. Well, yeah, it'll take longer for it to extend than retract. So that's how we controlled those timings. So the next thing after this has retracted its block is we have to extend this piston here and this piston here, and then it breaks it and then we have to retract it. So I have like this little mini model of it. So this is where the lever would be. We'd have our second floor piston on the other side, and this is our zero tick generator. So this thing gets activated on the falling edge, so when the redstone signal gets turned off. So basically, we have our two first zero tick generators. So this first one will activate this back piston, and then a few micro ticks. I don't really know how zero tick stuff works, but there's like enough piston update delay or whatever, however it works for the second zero tick generator to activate extending this piston. So it will go this back piston, then this one very quickly. So it'll go like boom, like bleh. basically it'll teleport the block. And then three ticks later, that gives it enough time for this piston to extend, retract, breaking this lever. And then this um, next zero tick generator for making this piston retract the piston that breaks the lever. So it does it very fast. So instant moves and then it retracts. So if you could see it, I'm gonna do it again. So we got our lever here. So this is like that. It does the instant moves first and then you'll see it retracts like very shortly after. So there we go. That's how those piston movements work. So now we have done this, and this has extended, break in this, this has done that, and that has retracted. So now we are at this state over here, and by that time, this piston has extended again. Now, let's see. Yeah, that piston has extended. I'm pretty sure I missed a zero tick generator down here. What? Yeah, okay, so this piston is kind of like in this state right now. So basically, we have to pulse it again to retract this again. So we just have this other zero tick generator down here, which uh, spaghettis itself up back to this piston, retracting this piston back. So now this piston has extended after this little cutoff circuit thing because the lever is broken, so everything's being powered again. And then lastly, connected to the same circuit with the observer, we have this observer going into this dot of redstone, activating these two pistons. So if we just take a look at it, basically, if the observer extends, this dot will become a line. So none of these pistons will activate. But once it retracts, it'll become a dot again and activate both of the pistons. So let's just look at it quickly. So it will retract um, soon enough for these two pistons to extend their blocks and then push the floor fully flush. And that's basically how this thing works. It's definitely super simple. Like, wow, it's so easy. Like, this, this took forever. And obviously this first one, we were just experimenting. Like, there's a lot of airspace. But then I tried to make this one as compact as I could. So, yeah, it could probably be a lot smaller. And it can be a lot faster, too. So, 
let's hope someone makes a faster one in the future. But yeah, those are the four zero tick weight. Wait, not yeah, four z useless machines. I think I forgot the fifth one. Um, let's well, maybe let's 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 take a look at the surprise one. So yeah, oh my god, this thing is so loud. Hold on a minute. Uh... So anyways, this is the last useless machine, but it's probably my favorite because I'm burning in a pot and there's a psychedelic. Uh, <laughs> Piston feed tape going around me, and it's going very fast. This is like the fastest uh, feed tape, I think. I don't know. All of these are like zero tick smart pistons, so let me just get out of here so I can show you how to build it. I don't think you need a tutorial, but basically what we have here is we have a torch under here, which will power this redstone going into this block. And there's also a piston here, which updates this piston, so it makes it like instant. And we just have that on all of the sides and sometimes you need to put it over because it is a directional design but yeah that's just our zero tick thing and the way we deactivate it is that we have these blocks just not letting the signal through to the pistons and it retracts so yeah that's the last useless machine i don't really think you need a tutorial for it just like look at these things now if you have it like this and it doesn't work so in case it'll be like in this one direction, you'll need to put it on top so it updates the piston. But yeah, this is just the psychedelic piston feed tape, our last useless machine. So yeah, now the two announcements I want to make. Uh, uh, first of all, I have a Discord and not a lot of people are joining. Like, come on, man. I have almost like 400 subs and there's like not like there's like 30 people on there. We need more Discord people. And also that's where I upload more stuff about my videos and why they're taking so long and guess what i recently made a second channel and it's also impossible to find it's called crafty's bunker it's in my little whatever it's called the suggested channels thing on the side i forget what it's called but basically that's just my uh, little channel in case anything goes wrong so if i haven't uploaded in like two months or something you should probably check Crafty's Bunker in case I got nuked or I'm living in a bunker. So yeah, those are the two announcements I wanted to make. But I hope you enjoyed this video on useless machines. It was very useless and very stupid. But yeah, goodbye.